Bobby, did you like your new kitty helmet? Yeah. Fourth helmet. You doing it backwards? Okay, so we are still supplementing pig feed. They are at their max. We've reached their max. So we do a pound of grain per month per pig. So we are at the six month mark. We have seven pigs, so we should be at 42 pounds per day. I talked about this a while ago. Um, we're supplementing five pounds a day because we have plenty of scraps, just so we didn't have to order another pallet of pig feed for a couple hundred pounds of, of feed to get us through uh, to harvest time. So we are doing 37 pounds instead of 42 pounds, and then we've got 10 pounds of food scraps so um, most of this is is skim milk whey and just um, um, I guess clabbered I don't know it's old milk pigs love it we're also doing the same thing with the the hens because I screwed up and I didn't um, we didn't order enough food for the hens so the hen delivery is not coming until September we're all good, um, but we're doing the same thing. We, we, we went back five pounds of grain, so instead of feeding them 15 pounds a day, we're down to 10, and then we're doing 10 pounds of, of skim for them as well. Look, pigs are omnivores, just like pigs, just like us. Uh, they're pigs with wings, right? They're, they're gonna eat anything that, that we're gonna eat. So we're gonna feed them everything except poultry. We feed the pigs everything except pork. Um, and we're just supplementing with, with what we've got. We are slaughtering meat chickens next Saturday. Today is Friday, so not tomorrow, but the following week. We need to clear out the freezer, so we're going to be able to, we have tons of scraps that we're going to be able to feed. Um, hey, Henley. Hold on, Bella. We have tons of scraps that we're going to be able to feed the pigs and the laying hens over the next week as we clear and make room for our new batch of, of meat chickens, which is gonna be close to 90. I don't know, we haven't had a count. So um, anywhere between probably 80 and 90 birds, we gotta get in the freezer. Okay, so you can see what we did here. This is the hen feed. I put 10 pounds of skim and whey in there. It pretty much, so there's 10 pounds of grain, 10 pounds of skim and whey. That's an equivalent to 15 pounds of grain. Um, and then you saw the, you saw what we did with the hogs. This is all meat chicken. So again, the reason we're in this situation is we ran out of, and I planned it this way. Um, we fed the meat birds, we, we used grower, and then we had, um, or excuse me, starter, we used starter. Let me start. So the reason we're in this situation, um, we just used what we had. We used, starter feed for all of our chicks we use starter for the turkeys as well and there's specific uh, blends for that so we did not skimp on that we will never skimp on that and then we had grower and we had specific um, broiler feed specific for pasture and we went through all of that and we had turkey and we still have turkey specific for turkey we're running out of the turkey. We ran out of the broiler and to supplement because these birds are, they're already 10 weeks old, nine weeks old. We, we probably started doing this around week six or seven. Again, I, I, I don't know. I just made the decision. I'm not gonna order another pallet of broiler. I'm not gonna order another pallet of turkey. We can use our laying hen. It's off by one or 2% from a protein standpoint. It's fine. They're out doing pasture. They are true blue free ranging. I mean, they're out eating bugs and doing their thing. 50% of them get out of the net every single day and they're out truly free ranging. So I am not concerned. They're getting what they need. So because of that, we're going through this layer like crazy. <laughs> um, 
and we're gonna run out before the next layer happens. So we're using what we have. Um, we're not skimping per se. Um, we're just kinda, we're utilizing what we've got to get us through this, this season. And uh, I, would rather, I would rather do that than have two pallets, one pallet of hog feed and one pallet of broiler just sitting in the garage for an entire year, uh, losing its nutritional value and everything else. So I, from my standpoint, I don't know if it's right, wrong, you choose, you do you, but from what we're doing, the way I looked at it, um, that, that's what we're doing. We're gonna use what we got. So that's why we're doing what we're doing. It's working, it's fine. The birds are getting to, birds are getting to size, our meat birds and our, our egg layers are laying eggs. So that's, that's all we can ask for. All right, chore day, what is today? Oh my goodness, it is Friday, August 9th. We've got chore day, Natalie and Evie are in the greenhouse watering. Henley is doing his, his chore. He's kind of taking that on. He's cleaning all the waters and uh, um, doing that. We got, we're gonna move the hogs. So I'm gonna get out there. We'll move the hogs and then normal chore day. These turkeys are out. I don't know if Henley let them out or what. Come on. We've had tons of rain. Let's go. 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 Tons of rain. And this is one of the worst parts of our pasture. It's very sandy and rocky, so these stakes don't stick in. So these fence, anytime it rains, the fence falls down. Come on. Let's go. 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 Go in there. Go. Turkey secure. I'm just gonna do these chores. Henley's over there doing his, he's cleaning the waters with the meat birds. Piggies are hungry. We gotta move them. Natalie and Evie are in the greenhouse. I'm just gonna knock out chores real quick over here. So I'll get these birds, these hens taken care of and start on the meat chickens and the turkeys and then as soon as Natalie gets over here we'll go move the hogs. All right, are you going, Bubba? It's foggy. It is foggy. And it's like, what is going on? Look at this fog. It's fog, Bubba. Clouds. All right, so here's why we move this house every single day. I mean, look what these birds do. The majority of their manure load happens at night. They're sitting there roosting and dropping all this goodness that we're gonna leave and spread throughout this entire paddock. All right, so here's update on our meat birds. Today is Friday. We have opted to give them one more week. We were gonna butcher tomorrow. We wanna gain a little more weight. Some of these are pretty big, but some of them are a little tiny. So look, if we can get to a five pound bird in the freezer, that's gonna be ideal. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do one more week, so. Birds are great. Henley's doing his job. What you doing, Bubba? Filling up water? Today I'm gonna get one whole dollar. One whole dollar, that's right. Sundays, Sunday's payday. Right, how many days? Two days. All right, so I'm gonna move this tractor. 